Hello, everyone. Many of us, many of us may complain about the bad things that happens to us in life. Like, we may believe life is so unfair. When it comes down to me, yes, bad things are happening to me in life. That is true. But at the same time, good things are happening too. I can't focus mainly on the bad things that are happening and not on the good. Imagine there is someone that helps you so often. And let's say that every so often, that person may inconvenience your life. When you are inconvenienced, you begin screaming, you begin yelling, you begin cussing, you begin speaking badly about the person, like, hey, how can you do this to me? Like, what is the problem? Blah, 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 blah. Now, how would you think that person will feel? That person does good for you often. That person, you know, for an example, that person helps you with money. That person helps pay for your rent. That person gives you food. That person um, takes you to the store. That person does so many things for you. But when you are inconvenienced, you begin acting very wild. Like, how would you feel if you were the person doing so much for the badly behaved person? I believe you may feel unappreciated. You may feel that that person doesn't really respect you or care for you. Wouldn't you feel that way? Now, we may see that as humans so how do you think God feels God wakes us up I believe many of us can speak walk we can eat on our own we can move around we can do so many things but when we feel inconvenience we may get very angry at God. We may say, God, why are you doing this? Why did you do this? Why did you do that? Like, we may stay in a very bad attitude, and how is that showing appreciation to God? Sometimes I think about Job and what Job went through. And I may be wrong about this, but... I believe for Job to go through all that he went through, I believe he was very, very, very mature in Christ. For him to go through all that he went through, he went through extremely horrible things. I don't believe many of us could go through what Job went through and still stick with God. So I believe it shows how mature Job was in God. I may be wrong about this, but please listen to me a bit. What I find, the more I stick with Christ, the more I try to obey him. I'm not saying this happens all the time, but it seems like certain problems, like, how can I say this? It seems like some problems get bigger than the ones prior. So let's say 
this may not be the case in full, but let's say uh, one of my problems in 2001 was on a level three, then in 2002, uh, a problem that was on a level four, then five, then six. It seems like the stronger my faith gets, the stronger the test I receive, if that makes any sense. I believe we are on earth to be tested. I believe we have to become more like Jesus Christ and less as ourselves. So I think it is kind of unwise to expect life on earth with the way it is for your life to be 100% perfect because I don't believe it will be with how things are now. Yes, bad times may come. This may happen, that may happen. But remember and focus on what God has done for you. Look at your life now. Focus on the positive that is going on in your life now. Yes, I believe it is easy to focus on this person did this to you. That person did that. This area of your life is going so bad. What should I do? Blah, 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 blah. I believe many of us may live until, let's say we all live until we are 80. How useless would it be to focus on every problem that comes your way? Think about that. Like how stressed will you become if you focus on every problem that has happened to you, let's say that you are very paranoid and you believe that a problem can happen to you at any time and you are like bracing yourself for it to happen. I believe that is too much stress, too much anxiety. This may be easier said than done, but when problems come, let it roll off of you. There may be some problems where you may have to endure for a while. That problem may be active in your life, but keep your mind on God. Keep your mind on becoming better. Keep your mind on like things you can do for Christ. Things like helping people and stuff like that. I believe this is one of the ways to keep sane, to keep mentally healthy. I hope all of this makes sense. May God bless us. Amen.